Hi there, fellas. So at this point, I think you have a good grip about the new <clears throat> addition or the, the smaller solvers in OpenFund. So I think pretty much it's easy, or I hope it is easy for you now. So now let's move to a new tutorial. Now this is tutorial seven. So we address BOF and then compressible and compressible single phase flow. But in this one, we're going to address species transport. Okay, so this is another modular solver, which by the way, this is a tutorial that I'm doing because I, ha I received many requests to do something like that. And this is a first timer now that uh, we do the, this tutorial for a species transport. So this will be the substitute. What we're going to do is what, we, what it used to be reacting for. Okay, so the, f the case is a simple geometry, it's a well-known case, it's the Sandia flame case, now the case we have it here. So basically we're going to resolve, uh, solve compressible Ranch equations, so we need to, to find that molar solver. And just for demonstrating, I'm going to show you the case running using LTS. LTS is local time stepping or pseudo transient. But this kind of cases that you have by and zero species is better to go fully transient. Okay, so basically we have a domain something like this that we have three inlets. So when one species is centered here, the other here, the other here. Species for those who doesn't, who doesn't know are the components. So we can have here in two H2 and air with all the components centering. Okay, so it's up to you and well, we have a solution there. So let's move to the case. Okay, so I think this will be quite fast now, uh, tutorial seven. So this setup, when it comes to boundary condition, initial conditions is pretty much the same as this previous version. So you have here the script to run. I'm not going to open anything. And I'm just going to, to describe briefly here and then I will let you know choose if you want to keep <laughs> watching the video or just move to another and something else. Okay. So nothing to do here. When you see this folder dot off means it's not being used. So this this new solver now that we're going to use, which by the way we need to use you go to the use all table here, this diagram. So we need to move here. You now fluid solvers, isothermal, and then multi-component. This will be our option, okay? And as you go here, multi-component, you click and it will redirect you to the source code or you get hold. And you can read more about that. But also here in the manual, you will have all the solver. So we're interested in this case, multi-component. So solver model for a steady or transient turbulent flow is compressible, multi-component, no? So this is the substitute of, you have it here, supersedes uh, reacting phone and buoyant, buoyant reacting phone. So I'll read this table to know this previous version of it open for what you were reading. Okay, so we know that uh, Chenkin, we don't have chemical species, uh, chemical reactions. So this is just for chemical reaction. You enter here, this pretty much remain the same. Off, I put some direct folders there, directories that they are often not being used because we don't have any combustion chemical reactions. So this is the only thing that we're using, okay? Uh, I'm not going to talk for a moment about that. That is later if you want to keep watching the video. And then, as you can guess, the big modification will be here. So all the files here remains the same. It is just control D. Okay, so if I open control D, okay, and for some reason it's taking some time okay we have it here so application form run solver multi-component that's all the rest is pretty much the same okay so remember that you have function arguments also but you there is a keyword sometimes a keyword that you need to update but nothing is nothing critical okay so we already addressed that when it comes also in this case when it comes to the to the numerics it's also the same numerics Okay, so as you open SV skin, SV solution will be okay. Uh, the same numerics uh, uh, as we have addressed previously, or you have a study with open phone, open phone 10 or 9. So, as you see, it's pre pre pretty easy, okay, to set up the case at this point. You can run and just let me launch this case. So, you have those scripts, okay, and I will run for this and run solver error, okay. Uh, I need to load open phone 11. Okay, so it's loading and well, for some reason it's taking some time to <coughs> to load. Okay, 
Okay, so we have it there. Wrong solver species. Okay, and you have to script species and, and air. So basically what is happening there, okay, it is, is that in this center. So when you have air means that uh, I have, we, you, you have air entering there. Okay, and the air is divided now according to the components into O2, whatever, and you have a species, different species that later we're going to see. So I will let run this case. As you see, nothing changed. Pretty much it's the same as previous. Now, tutorials what, uh, that we have done. So you just need to identify your new solvers. Okay, so whatever you were doing, so you can use this diagram. I really like this diagram, but probably can, can be a little bit confusing now. So I like to use this diagram, but also you can uh, identify here in this table, you know, in this bulleted list, you, you, you can identify you now the new molar solver, what, what application is substituted, or you can go to the documentation that you have there. So let's wait for the solution here. Okay, and then we're going to see some new stuff. But at this point, Okay, you have green light, you can move to another video, you can change channel, okay? We are going to talk about something else that I would like to address about the species that many people have asked about that. So I'll see you, see you later. Okay, we're back. So in my case, I have a solution there, now I run the solver and let's talk a little bit about what is happening here okay so let's revisit now here the what, what we're doing so remember basically what we're doing is that we have multi species okay meaning that all the previous cases that we have run okay in, in compressible and compressible now the first four tutorial there were a single phase so we were assuming that we have air but remember that air have components now have different species so you will have N2 like 70% and then O2 like 22% and then 1% on some traces of some other ga gases. So you have the option to simulate air as a, let's say, average mixture that usually with this, that is what we do. We have a density and so on, or you can have each of the components. So this is what we're doing. So imagine that in we have different inlet here, inlet one, two, three, and we're going to in, to, to inject, you know, in each of those in like different species. So one can be in two or two, we can have the air of all those components and so on. So this is the main difference when we do species, okay? So we're just transporting another quantity. So some people might say, okay, but I can use the previous solvers, you know, the single phase and then add a passive scatter. And yes, that is perfectly valid. But remember that if you have now temperature, remember that this is substituting reacting foam com uh, compared to the solvers. We have temperature, gases, they have a strong dependence, density, viscosity, and even CP can change with temperature. And that thing cannot be done using the passive scatters, okay? So this is a more complete physics, okay? So let's see what is happening in our tutorial. Okay, let's analyze each of the folders. So now, let me start with constant. We have a solution that we're going to look at this solution. So first, remember we have compressive solvers, gravity is an important, so we have buoyancy, so we enable gravity there, we have it there. Then if I go to momentum transport, so this is the turbulence model. Okay, so with multi-species, more turbulence applies in the same way. So here we're using K epsilon, so same way. And then we go into physical properties. So physical properties is a little bit more messier than the previous cases in compressor and compressor. Okay, you need to define your thermodynamics here. Okay, so see that for transport, which is viscosity, Sutherland. Okay, and then equation is to stay perfect gas, and then we define a multi-component mixture species, okay? And then here we have a file include, you can copy that here. Uh, actually, I haven't tested, but probably, but yeah, this is just including another file that we have here. And as you can guess, in that file, we're defining the properties of each single species. You have this keyboard here uh, into it. So this, this, this is the, the most, you said it's the most abund abundant species, okay? So in this case, N2 is the one that we have more abundant in our composition, okay? So now see that you're pointing to this one, you go into this one, and here you define your species. So see that keyboard species, I have four species and then in 2O2H2 and air. So remember I was mentioning that we can have air, 
as an average or okay mixture or you can give each of the components so the main most important components of air of species into o2 and h2 is another species random that is entering somewhere so you start to define okay each species so you have n2 molecular way okay so here is using janf table okay or janf table so this is kind of a way to to specify how cps compute an entalpy and so on so janf if i, if I want to recall is joint uh, army naval air force it means but you you can use your polynomial table whatever but this is pretty much a standard open phone you said it, all the tutorials you are going to to to, to see this janf table so maybe I will do another video now later with the compressible stuff to show this, this. But you have this, this is just the simulation, the, how to compute CP entropy and so on. Then these are the coefficients for the transport model. Okay, Sutherland, so each species will have different coefficients that are computing somehow. So you go and read your literature. And then you go to O2, same stuff. So see that you define molecular way, okay, <clears throat> and so on. Then h2 okay you have it there it's in definition and then here i have air as a species so here you can see a moles usually you, you you need to define moles when you have co uh, uh, chemical reactions combustion and so on but this is right on here you can comment it so see that this is the standard values that we have seen in previous cases now single phase of molecule this molecular way the <laughs> Sutran coefficients and well here we're defining the Janaf table but you can put with polynomial whatever for CP okay so we are assuming here that CP makes sense with temperature you can use well uh, a polynomial model it's up to you okay so this is what you are doing so imagine that this file is a copy and paste here and you see that it's very straightforward okay so now that we have covered this let's move to system okay just to mention something as well now the files that are off okay so you think because i put some files off so combustion properties and so on and gree gree is just reaction me mechanism you know? so this is the library that you have when you have chemical reactions and so on so all this stuff is off you don't need to touch and I forgot to open the five chemical properties. So this is the one in this in this molar solvent and it's also in reacting form. You have this one. So if you want to disable all your, those chemical reactions and so on and combustion models and whatever, just put here chemistry off and nothing in reaction, and that's all. If you want to deal with reactions and so on, that is something another training that you are we're working for next year. And thank you very much for to, to Eric Daima from Toncano. So he's working on that and we're going to do that that <coughs> turn it was then so you enable that so things can get really complicated okay but those extra files here okay are related when you enable that chemistry then you're going to see this chunking of this is where you have also the tables okay for all the properties and so on so this is used to generate the properties and so on no, that can be very complicated. So you have, these are already pre-computed now, reaction mechanisms and so, so I'm not going into detail there. So I usually use uh, Cantera to do all that stuff. Here it's with Schenken and you have a command there. So yeah, I'm not going to address that. Just to point out here in the readme file, I just put this note down. When you see this Schenken, basically what you are doing is that you are constructing your tables with all the chemical reactions and you can uh, allow, uh, construct those tables and get everything in open form format. Okay, so that's all that general knowledge. Then we go and move to system. Okay, so let me open this three, five files. Okay, so we talk about now the simple modification in, in control did is just this. Okay, so now we're identifying a completely new modular solver and also a completely new tutorial because in any of the cases that we have done we have shown that and well many people ask about that so i think this is about time okay and just to show you that a completely different physics and it's not that difficult to implement okay be careful with your function objects there are a few keywords that change the most notable one would be the ta -ta 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 -ta. this one select Okay, I think it was region type previously, I don't recall well. Then there is a, also as you choose here, patch. Previously, previously, I think it was name, now it's patch. But in any case, you, you can get that, it's not a problem. SB schemes, 
nothing new here. The only thing that I want to show you that look at that. Now we have local Euler is local time stepping. So all these solvers, all this stuff, okay, that we are doing, okay, this class, solver class is compatible with everything. So you have local Euler, you have the steady solver, whatever you want to use, it is compatible. It's not like in the previous versions that you have simple phone and pimple phone, simple for, for a steady, pimple on a steady, and then the LTS, you now in the pimple here, you can you can use all the, the DDT schemes in one single class. So this, this is giving you more flexibility, okay? So probably you might say, okay, you need to get used to something you, but I have to say it really worth changing, moving to this one that are making sense easier. So if you want here, you can run a steady, there is no problem. By the way, I not recommend you just running the steady, this kind of problem, no, because here the physical, when you have buoyancy, it is on a steady. And even local level is not recommended. So basically just to show you that everything works out of the box, there is nothing new, then you have the standard numerics. Okay, so here we're moving to a robust numerics. Okay, and then we go to SB solutions. Okay, so you define your solvers. Okay, you are solving for rho, p, you know, velocity, your scalars, and then h is enthalpy. So this is another question many people ask me. Okay, when you go in this compressible solvers and whatever, why you are not solving temperature? Remember, you are you are solving for h enthalpy, which is equal to Cp times t. From enthalpy, you can hit, get temperature. So you don't directly resolve for that variable. Okay, be careful about that. Uh, okay, so then we go in pimple, and here in pimple, okay, this is in standard. Remember, piece of stuff that entirely disappeared. And here you have a standard entries related to, to the LTS. Okay, here's where you control that, where you, you can control that pseudo time set. And I have to say that there are some new keywords here, okay, but if you haven't done any species previously using LTS, I think, okay, this the, there is no problem, but as you, you have done, probably you need to get used to a new keywords, but it's not a big deal, okay? So here we're controlling that, and basically what we're doing, this is the control for the current number. So try to adjust the local time step in each cell so it, it is about this order of magnitude, okay? And then on the relaxation in the standard way. Let me go here now. We have sec fields. We have sec fields for the species and air. So sec fields are just initializing in a small region in the domain. But just to show you that we have two cases now, but this is a standard as well. This doesn't change sec field. It's still, it is pretty much the same. And then you go in boundary conditions and let me open, for instance, a species. So see that when you go in multi-components, you need to define boundary initial condition for each of the species that you are solving. So see that you have H2, N2, and O2, the species that we're solving in this in this case, you know, where we have these three components. Uh, and then you don't see air here because air we're not using. So air, all the other species that you are not using or not taking part in whatever you have, it will be here, it will, they will enter in this Y default. Here you have off this variable G that corresponds to Oh, radiation model, yes, I would recall, but pretty much it's a standard. Thermal diffusivity, turbulent thermal diffusivity, excellent K, the turbulence, turbulent variables, and then you have your species that you are transporting, P, T, and U. Very important, remember that this is compressible. Now here you need to define absolute pressure. Now it's not like the incompressible solvers that many times people put zero there. Okay, so you put zero here, it will crash because you are working in the vacuum and well, Navier's Stokes equation is not valid anymore in the vacuum or close to the vacuum or in low vacuums. So this is what I want to say then is that I go to air. It's pretty much the same, but see that now here we're defining H2 and you have air. The air species that is entering in this inlet. So you have an inlet with, with this name. Okay, supposedly there you should have no CH4 entering, but here we're put in another species of bed, see that air is not entering here, but it is entering here in an inlet air, in an in inlet pilot, and then you have it in the outlet. Now you have this in, uh, inflow, outflow, boundary conditions. If I go also to this species as well here, you will see that when we define boundary conditions, you can see that in this Surface, we have this one. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, so you, I need to open the singular components. So we have the H2, 
you have it entering in this one it's not entering in this one and two it is not entering here entering here and here and entering here and here so see that the composition that i'm putting n2o2 corresponds to kind of air okay so this n2o2 and air will be equivalent but it's up to you if you want to take air as a mixture or air as a, the different components okay by the way this should add to one okay this is a concentration so this plus two if does this one should add to one so how do you choose that that what what you want to solve so you say you have physical properties and we already studied this but just to revisit so here's where you declare your species so in this case we have four species independently you are entering it or whatever so for instance if uh, if in this species case the one i just ran i have h2 and 2 o2 i'm not using air so air doesn't matter it doesn't appear in my computation and anything that related to air will enter in the in the file the y default file okay in this one here that will be the case if you have chemical reaction that maybe then that is going to react and you're going to have that component and so on. But this is how you set up. It doesn't matter if you don't use it, okay? But you have a long table there. Okay, so I guess this is what I wanted to say that I, I cover regarding this when many people ask me you know, how to do these cases. And there you go, you have it. So now to do the post-processing, it's very much a standard okay but now this is our domain just to show you now that here we can zoom in so now uh, here we're using axial symmetry i hate symmetry i don't like to, to use symmetry but well i just take in a geometry and to make it run faster now so but honestly i don't like symmetry usually when you use symmetry you are suppressing an instability state or mode okay but in any case so velocity you have three inlets okay inlet one two and three okay and for instance well, let me put temperature and this is what happened remember that you have also temperature you have the walls heated and actually we haven't opened this field so you can take any idea what is going on here so you have this inlet is hot and then the rest is 300 and then you're going to have the all determined diffusion and so on and see that this is what is happening Okay, here this jet is entering faster so as you look at velocity you're going to have there and then you have access to all the components you will need to enable here okay so so i save another so see that we have cp cp changing because remember change with temperature and we have that thermodynamic model then you have your species so h2 is only entering here okay so this is for those interested in doing combustion with the hydrogen well this is the starting the starting step transport the species and then just enable the combustion model so you have h2 entering here see how it's transporting you have all the diffusion and so on and then the other species you will have it here n2 okay and then o2 and remember that this corresponds to the air composition so the other tutorial that you run when you choose the other script it will just set everything for air so it will be equivalent to that so it will be up to you what what you want to do but if you are looking into chemical reactions and so so each of these species can contribute to something so it probably would be more correct to do this for chemical reactions but it's up to you then you have some other components as i mentioned you have cp there with the variation also so okay see that air doesn't appear but still you have it there but it doesn't appear it's not entering in your case uh your density remember that what we have all these species will be average so this is the average density so as you see kind of the average of air and so on okay the ta, 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 you have enthalpy just to remind you that temperature is compute for enthalpy h equals cp t okay and then t you can get it for there you have cp there and so on uh thermal turbulent thermal diffusion okay and i just want to talk about this r delta r delta this is a local pseudo trans you know local time step and so r delta represents the reciprocal of the time step okay so this is what you see here when you plot this one you will see how the the time step change in the domain so usually uh larger volumes means smaller time steps okay so each cell in this problem will have a different time step instead on a steady cases that there are no one's global time stepping there is only one cell that will control your your simulation okay so that 
single cell that usually the smallest one or the one that you have the faster velocity will control everything and the time step will be the same for every cell even if you have large cells here that where nothing is happening you also will have a small time step. the idea of pseudo transient is to avoid that, that problem okay to advance faster the solution so each cell will have different uh, cfl numbers so here where nothing is happening okay you can have very large cfl numbers here where you have the larger changes, your CFL will be smaller and so on. Okay, so this is the R delta. So pretty much I think this is it what I want to show you. So I'm fine just to comment about these two script. Now so you have these two scripts. So one corresponds is the one to run with air. So it's doing all the initialization and and copying the files now for, for air and the other is just for this pieces, okay. So it's up to you. Actually, I need to update it because this is also unique to move the directories here. Okay, now you have it here, CP error. Okay, you're using CP error and then your uh, CP uh, species, not the boundary conditions. Okay, so it, it is okay. So this is what is happening, moving those files. So I guess you, you have at this point a better idea about how to do species. So remember that you, you can use the, the passive scalar. If you don't have temperature, it will be perfectly equivalent, but if you have temperature or if you want to compute the, the, the fusion or you have the fusion coefficients and you have different Lewis number, now Lewis number will be the ratio between Prandtl number and the Schmidt number. So you need to go by this, this approach. Okay. So all the, that is stuff in Lewis number, by the way, will be addressed in the, tra in the training material that I, that I mentioned in the training that we're, we're preparing regarding chemistry and combustion. Okay, so thank you for your attention and see you in the next videos. Okay, we have only two videos left, but I hope that we're helping you now to, to ease your transition to, to open phone 11. As you see, it is quite easy and uh, we strongly recommend you to use open phone 11. Okay, so besides this small modification in control D, there are some other small details that is not a bigger of a deal so far, knowing everything that we have done. Okay, but it really works in the modification we have seen some, some improvement. Okay, that is from the practical point of view, from the user point of view, and now from the point of view of developers, all the libraries is you have developed libraries in the ESR, ES, ESRC directory. No, there are no changes. But if you have developed solvers, that thing needs to, to be updated to open for So it might be a little bit painful. Honestly, we haven't done that yet. We have a few solvers that we need to, to update. Actually, we have one related to combustion, but all the libraries in turbulence that, that, that work. Exactly the same. Uh, to answer another question, some people ask that, do you deliver uh, programming training? No, we don't deliver programming training because everybody has different needs re regarding programming. It's very wide, very complex. So my advice is just follow the training from the <laughs> developer for open for CFD di Direct. So this is a big shout out to, to the guys, CFD Direct, follow their training. It's a fantastic training, but do not ask, uh, us about training or, or or doing videos we're going to do some videos but it's not something that we do very often so that's all thank you for your attention and hope to see you next time okay bye